Today I'm going to be making some really, really awesome gluten-free pecan brownies. And here are the ingredients that we need. One and a half cups of chocolate chips. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate chips in this recipe. A half a cup of unsalted butter. Three eggs. Three quarters of a cup of granulated white sugar. One third of a cup of cornstarch. One cup of pecans. A quarter cup of cocoa powder, and I'm using Dutch processed cocoa powder in this recipe. One teaspoon of vanilla a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of salt. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. For my first step, I'm going to melt my chocolate in the microwave on defrost mode and I'm also going to melt my butter. That's the first step. I'll do that and I'll be back in a second. So I'll get my melted butter into my bowl. And then our melted chocolate chips. Oh, that smells good. And always microwave your chocolate on the defrost mode. Never use the regular mode because you will burn your chocolate. That's good. And then we will just incorporate this. I just want to mix this a little bit. That's good. And then I'll add in all of my sugar. We'll get that mixed around. I'll add in my salt and my vanilla. And then we're ready for our eggs. So there's egg number one. Egg number two. And then our third egg, and we'll mix that in. Okay, that's good. You can see how rich and chocolatey this is, but we're going to add in even more chocolate with our cocoa powder. So I've got a sieve here, and I just want to sift all of that cocoa powder in. I'm going to put in a little bit of cinnamon as well, and all of our cornstarch. And the cornstarch is replacing our flour in this recipe. And then the little pieces that are left, just push them through with your fingers. So we'll mix this in. When you first start mixing, always just go on speed number one. Because you do not want a huge dust cloud. Cocoa powder really gets into the air very, very easily. So just a very slow speed until it's mostly mixed in. And then you may increase your speed, you know, just by another notch on your mixer. But this is good, just like this. So mix this until it's well combined. Make sure you get up on the sides with your mixer. You get everything well incorporated. And that's good, just like that. Our last thing to do is our pecans. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toast these in a fry pan. I just want to smell them. As soon as I smell them, they're the, all the oils are going to come out of the pecans and then I know that they're nicely done. Then I'm just going to chop them up and we'll add those. Okay, so I have toasted up my beautiful pecans and I've just give them a, given them a rough chop and I'll get those right in there. Perfect. Grab our mixer for the last time and just get this mixed in just so that they're all covered with that beautiful chocolate. I hope the camera is picking up how rich this is. This is super, super, super rich. And that's good, just like that. I have greased my pan and also lightly floured it. And these are, just in case somebody wants to know, two and a half square by about one and a half inches high. Okay, and this is a Wilton pan. So I'm gonna grab my little ice cream scoop and I'm gonna start filling these up. And this is a perfect recipe for this mold. So right now, my oven is set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna pop these in and I'll be back later with the final product. Okay, I'm back and I'm going to pop out 
my beautiful little pecan brownies. And these baked for a total of 30 minutes in my oven. I'll just get these out. Oh, they smell so good. So let's just break into one. I'll show you what it looks like inside. Look at this. Oh, amazing. Really, really nice. And let me just taste a little bit. Oh, that's really good. You would never know that these are gluten-free. No flour in these whatsoever. Really, really nice. So let me take all of these out, and then I'll just zoom in a little bit. So at this point, I've got them all out, and I could end the video here. These are great to eat just like this. However, for an optional step, I'm going to make a really nice chocolate ganache just to finish these up. Okay, so what I have here is one cup of heavy cream. This is 35% cream. I also have one cup of chocolate chips, and these are semi-sweet chocolate chips. And I'm going to pour those into my hot cream. And what I want to do now is I want to let the heat of the cream start melting that chocolate. So I'm just going to leave this here for about a minute so that the chocolate and the cream become friends. And I'll come back in about a minute and we're going to start stirring this up. We also have some nice butter. I've got about four tablespoons of butter here that we're going to add into that as well. Okay, so this is about a minute later or so. And I'm going to start just whisking this nice and slowly and watch the magic as it starts to happen. I'll do this real time so that you see what happens. You can see the chocolate right in the middle of my whisk is starting to really combine. I'll just keep whisking and as the cream and the chocolate come together, look at how beautiful that is. So this is a ratio of one to one. So one cup heavy cream to one cup of chocolate chips. And then we'll get all of our butter in there. And we'll just let that melt and mix right in. And that's it for this chocolate ganache. And we're gonna be using that on top of our lovely gluten-free pecan brownies. So the next step, I'm gonna grab our beautiful chocolate ganache and I'm just going to pour this right over our nice brownies. And I've got parchment paper underneath which is going to catch all of that ganache and then we can reuse that. So nothing goes to waste. So if you want a little bit, pour a little bit. If you want a lot, if you want a little bit of the brownie to show through, you don't have to completely cover it. Now, I'm going to let these dry, but I'm going to do something a little bit more over the top. I'm going to pop this into the fridge, and then I'm going to whip it, and I'm going to turn this into a whipped ganache, and then we're going to pipe out a beautiful rosette on the top of these. So this is about an hour later, and my chocolate has nicely set up. And what I have here is the same chocolate that we used to pour over our brownies. All I did was I whipped it up with my mixer. So I just got my mixer in there, put it on high speed and just whip some air into here and you can see the color, you know, a big, big color difference just because of the air that's incorporated in here. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop that into a piping bag and then we're just gonna finish these off. So I've got it loaded up and I'll just do a very simple rosette on here. And this step is totally optional, you don't have to do this, and we didn't have to cover them with chocolate either, but uh, you know, it was just a nice final thing to do. And our last one. So I just zoomed in a little bit, just so you could see a little bit better. So here's our final product, our gluten-free pecan brownies. So we have our gluten-free brownie, then we have a nice chocolate ganache that we poured on top, and then we finished off with a whipped ganache for our topping. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I really, really had fun making this. That's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish. That's it for today, and I'll see you next time.